So here's the deal. You call 911, you expect help immediately. But what if you call and the police don't come? It's a big question here. And in a COIN6 investigation, we're looking at what's happening with some counties and cities in Oregon that are losing their cops. See, Curry County is down to a single deputy covering 2,000 square miles. Polk County only has deputies on duty from noon to 10 o'clock at night. In Happy Valley, the police levy actually failed by one vote, and if it fails again, the city will have to cut police altogether. And our investigative reporter, Carla Castaño, discovered a small town in a remote part of Lincoln County lost their police, and people never even got a chance to save them, Carla? That's right, and so that's the people were given a survey, and I found out even though the results revealed people were willing to pay for police, the city council said otherwise, instead choosing for the town to lose police patrols. There is no such thing as a small call in Salettes. We followed Toledo police for seven miles along a winding road to Salettes, where they were called 552 times in just the first three months of this year, when police services were cut off. With a population of about 1,100 in a city spanning just over a half mile, that indicates dense crime to police. Another troubling factor, a long history of victims being targeted for coming forward. A lot of retaliation, uh, people who do report and follow through, uh, which has you know, come at a heavy price. We're forgotten. We're not even a town. Now there's a feeling of isolation and abandonment. I mean, not, not being able to just be yeah. safe in your own yeah. home? Yeah, yeah. Talk about that. Tell me about that. No, because I'll start crying. And um, I have to be careful what I say because I don't want danger to come to me or my family. Those who live here tell me drugs and crime have taken over since the contract that kept Toledo police officers patrolling Celeste was canceled. We have no law enforcement and so now people are taking the law into their own hands and it's scary walking the streets. If you need help to call somebody, there's not going to be anybody here. There's not going to be anybody at all. The city of Siletz borders an Indian reservation. The Confederated Tribes of Siletz Indians were paying the $350,000 contract for three Toledo police officers to patrol Siletz for seven years. Then reduced it to two officers and asked the Siletz City Council to pay a portion after the tribe lost federal funding. The city council sent out this survey to citizens asking if they would pay for police. People just weren't willing to pay. Really? I requested the survey results. Here's what I found. Of the 109 Celets residents who completed it, 77 were willing to pay for police services. 24 were not. That's three times as many in favor of paying for police. Of 121 non-citizens surveyed, 89 were willing to pay. Well, 19 said no. That's four times as many. To get an explanation from the mayor, I made several phone calls. Went to City Hall twice, then caught up with him in the driveway of his house. People just weren't willing to pay. I, I guess we could disagree about the numbers, yeah. but I, I did get the survey results, and they did show differently than yeah. what you're saying. I, I looked them over. Every, we, we all agreed uh, uh, that that was the case. I checked with the lawyer for the city of Salette, and he confirms the wide margin in favor of paying for police. 77 were willing to help, you know, we're in favor of a funding option. I think it has something to do with finances. It would have cost them money to put it on the ballot. But Select's voters were not given the option, and the Lincoln County Sheriff's Office, already facing its own staff shortage, was forced to take over the rising number of calls to Select's. They had several stabbings within a week. He beat me down, tried to kill me and my dog, and he left. I don't know. He said he's going to come back and kill me. Okay. Did and I'm back. Did he stab you with a knife? What you're hearing is a call that came from this apartment, an example of what deputies and victims now regularly face in Salettes. Okay. An assault victim is hiding from his attacker. He calls for help repeatedly. We need to get somebody here now. I'm not even 
He even calls his mom and has her call 911. We're just concerned because I don't know how long it's going to be for the cops to get there. Toledo police officer Aaron Pitcher was able to get out to the scene, only allowed to respond because it was a life or death situation. It took him 25 minutes. It, it's scary. It's actually really scary. It's very frightening. Some people are afraid. They're telling me they're afraid for their lives, literally. Yeah. But that, that could be the case. I mean, I don't disagree with that. Uh, what, what can I do? I mean, well, you're the mayor. I mean, you tell me. Well, I'm, I'm moving people as fast as I can. Now, the Select Mayor tells me the City Council now sees that they do need police, and they're going to try to have a special election this May and put a tax levy on the ballot after we started asking questions. Jeff, back to you. So let me get this straight. He, he sees this now after you started asking the questions. Okay, okay. If you have a story we should investigate, call our tip line. There's a the number or send us an email to report it at coin.com.